We all go through ups and downs in life. I definitely hit a lot of lows where I felt like I was behind in life. Like I felt like I wasn't making enough money. I felt like I wasn't as far along as I should be. And there's a lot of people out here who feel the same way, but we don't talk about it that much, which makes us internalize these things, which isn't healthy. I'm the king of internalizing things, so I know for a fact it's not good for you or your mental health. And even though videos like this aren't as popular on my channel, I really want to speak on this because I think this can change the way you look at things while also inspiring you. What I'm about to do is walk you through step by step what to do when you feel broke and behind in life. Hey, what's up? My name is Reggie Bryans and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth where I show you how to save money and make more money all while bettering yourself every single day so you can live life on your own terms. Let's get into this video. First things first, stop comparing yourself to others. I know how easy it is to look at everyone around you thinking they're more successful than you, thinking they have more money than you, more happiness. Maybe you think they have a better social life, more dating options. You might just feel like they're getting more out of life than you. Just stop it. That way of thinking is contagious because it's a way of overthinking. And I know from experience, I used to overthink a lot and I did it as a way to save myself time in the future. That's why I've always had this tendency to overanalyze things and create a world in my mind which always ends up becoming an endless loop of me being trapped in my own thoughts. The ironic thing is when you do that, you waste time. And all of this time you spend thinking about the what ifs, all that time you spend thinking about how did he get to where he's at? What does he do for a living? How can she afford that car? Man, they have a nice house and a beautiful family. I want that. Why can't I have that? I'm telling you, the longer you think that way, the more you're drowning yourself in your own thoughts. And that's valuable time you could have spent improving, growing, learning, building the life you've always wanted. It doesn't happen overnight for anyone. So the first thing is to stop comparing yourself to others and stop putting so much pressure on yourself to reach your goals just because you want it right now. Look, it takes planning, execution, and it takes consistency. I'm passionate about this because I really had to sit back and think about this because I used to do it. And I'll be completely honest with you. Sometimes I feel like I'm behind in life. Sometimes I feel like I don't have the amount of money that I hoped I'd have by now. Sometimes I feel like I'm behind on my goals. Even though where I'm at right now is exactly where I said I wanted to be three years ago, except that was my five year plan. So technically I reached my goal two years early and I still feel behind in life sometimes. That's just a result of you wanting more for yourself. The thing is though, when you compare yourself to others, you don't even know the reality of what you're comparing yourself to. Reggie, what you mean by that? I mean, you might think someone has a better financial life than you, but how do you really know? Let me tell you a story, bro. I had this boss one time and he used to pull up to work in these crazy sports cars and it was like a different one every day. He was a couple steps above where most people were on the corporate ladder. So most people just assumed, man, he's making so much money. He can afford those cars. It was crazy because everybody was gunning for his position because they felt like it would give them that same type of lifestyle. Sure, he was making more money than his employees, but that didn't mean he was in a better financial situation because one day he leaned over and said, well, actually, no, I'm barely making it paycheck to paycheck. He was like, I got all these bills. I got credit card debt out the wazoo. He didn't say wazoo, but I'm keeping it PG over here. And he was just saying how he had all these other financial obligations. And my point with that is, this is exactly what I talk about on this channel when I say that trying to keep up with someone else will make you go broke. I mean, whoever said this was a competition? Like, I can appreciate that type of thinking because I'm a naturally competitive person, but we're doing it the wrong way. And that's why we feel behind in life and even broke sometimes because we're comparing ourselves to others like they're our competition and they are not. It didn't click until one day I got a text from my uncle that said, the only competition you have is looking directly back at you when you look into the mirror. You. You're the only competition you have and that actually leads to the next thing to do when you feel broke and behind in life. You improve. I used to get up every morning and ask myself, Am I one step closer to my goals than I was yesterday? And I'm being completely transparent with you. This was with everything. This was, okay, I went to the gym today and I bench pressed 225 pounds five times. 
So next time I'm gonna add five pounds to that and see if I can do the same amount of reps. Okay, cool, I made $100 last month on my side hustle. I made $6,000 last month at work. So how can I increase those numbers while working less hours? I was able to save $1,000 last month. So what can I cut back on to save even more next month? Better yet, how can I make more money so I don't have to cut back on anything so I can still save more money than I did last month? Always think about improving. And when I got into the habit of improving myself, bro, it was like I was in my own little world. I didn't care where anyone else was. I was happy for them, especially when I saw that they were doing well, but I didn't try to duplicate what they did to get to where they were at. And I wasn't comparing myself to them. I wasn't envious of them because I had my own path because we all have a different purpose in this world. It's not always meant for you to do what someone else did to reach a certain level of success. Instead of asking yourself how someone else did it, it's cool to aspire towards someone else's results. It's cool to be inspired by someone else. But the question you should ask yourself is this. If this is where I want to be, what is my plan to get there? How can I reach this goal? When you start asking yourself these types of questions, it's scientifically proven that it causes your mind to start thinking differently and start coming up with solutions. This happens on a subconscious level. Now let me back this up with an analogy. This is cold. Check this out. I see this life I've been given as an opportunity to do great things. There's going to be some bumps on the road and there's going to be some hardships. But I see myself as someone who will rise above it all. And sometimes to do that, you have to go through some tough battles. And some of the toughest battles I've had have been with myself, my competition. It's me against me, no one else. And I see life as a marathon, not a sprint, but I still have to win the race against myself. And this marathon takes place every single day. So I ask myself, am I ahead of where I was yesterday? Okay, why not? Yesterday I hit the finish line five seconds faster than I did today. Why? Did I get tired too fast today? Did I miss up when I was running and lose balance? What was the reason? And from there you plan and you improve. It's as simple as that. And I'll tell you this, the more I saw life through the lens of someone who was only competing with themselves, the more I started to surpass other people because I realized that I was a much greater competitor than I thought I was. So to constantly surpass yourself is the key to exponential growth. Today, I educated myself on something that could bring value to other people. What am I going to do tomorrow to add more value? Today, I recorded a YouTube video. Yesterday, I was too tired and I didn't take the time or the opportunity to record a video. But today, I got up and I recorded a video. Yesterday, I was feeling behind in life financially because I feel like I should be making a quarter million every year, at least by now. This is a true story, by the way. But that's why the question has to come. What am I doing right now to make sure that happens? What is my plan? Am I doing the things I said I'd do in my side hustle videos? From there, you make plans and you adjust. Things are gonna change in your life from time to time. Not all of your plans will always be successful. Sometimes you have to take the failures, the letdowns, the disappointments to the chin and learn from them. That's how you improve whether things are going your way or not, whether things are going up or down. I'm gonna be transparent with you for a second, bro. I received some bad news the other day and it really hit me like it hurt my feelings, but I didn't let it define me. I have to keep pushing and improving whether things are going positive or negative in my life. Just remember this, what goes up must come down. But also remember this, just the same way that what goes up must come down, sometimes that bounce back is much greater than the fall you had going down was. So just because you're down right now, just because you're frustrated right now, just because you feel like you're behind in life right now, doesn't mean you'll be that way forever. And if you're someone who feels like you don't have as much money as you should have, or you feel like you're behind in life financially, I want you to put in the comments how much money you wanna make every year. And that's it, just put the number, hit enter, and then that's it, that's your comment. That's all I want you to do. And then when you get a chance, I want you to make a plan of how you'll get there. There is so much power in writing your goals down. I do this all the time. 
And once you see your goals written down, you see that it's actually not so much. And you can start to narrow down what you need to do differently in your life to make these things happen. Like for me, I've always wanted to earn passive income. And when I first learned about passive income, I wanted to make just enough to pay one bill, which was my student loan debt. I needed to figure out how I was going to do that. So the first question I asked myself was, okay, you want to make $400 a month in passive income. Cool. So how much time are you spending outside of work to make that happen? Oh, an hour a day? Does that sound like a realistic amount of time to you? What are you doing throughout the day that you can take out and replace it with working on your craft? These thought patterns are what make you do better, make better decisions, and improve in life. So what I don't want you to do is sit around feeling sorry for yourself. That's not going to get you to where you want to be. Instead, I want you to stand up to your problems with solutions. And for every solution, I want you to have a plan on how you will execute them. That's how you're going to win and get ahead in life. Anyways, that's the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Reggie Bryans, and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth. So you can control you. Control your finances and control your life. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Stay cold.